Overnight, Donald Trump announcing an overhaul of the GOP. The Republican presidential frontrunner aiming to tighten his control over the party. Endorsing a loyalist as party chairman, his daughter-in-law, Laura Trump, as party co-chair, and pushing the installation of a senior campaign advisor as the party's chief operating officer. A party spokesperson saying no changes, which would require an RNC vote, will be made until after the South Carolina primary next week. Each and every one of you is going to get out and vote and deliver a gigantic win right here in South Carolina. Trump now 3-0 and in early states, hoping for a knockout primary win against his last remaining rival, Nikki Haley. The former South Carolina governor trailing Trump by more than 30 points in her home state, according to a new poll. He's not qualified to be the president of the United States. Haley attacking Trump on the campaign trail Monday for saying he would refuse to defend any NATO country attacked by Russia if they weren't keeping up with defense spending. I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. That's not somebody who's going to prevent a war. That's somebody who's going to who's going to get us in a war. And that kind of rhetoric was unhinged. But with few other Republicans criticizing his comments, Mr. Trump digging in, arguing on social media his negotiating tactics, quote, made NATO strong. We will defend, if needed, every inch of NATO territory. That's what the commander in chief of the United States ought to be saying when it comes to NATO. Mr. Trump on Monday also filing an appeal to the Supreme Court, asking justices to overturn an appeals court ruling that he had no immunity from prosecution for his efforts to overturn the 2020 election.